Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. Finally doing a video. Uh, you guys probably thought that I was gonna, that I was done doing videos on YouTube here, but uh, because of the whole controversy thing on the Five Awesome Suds channel, no, I just needed a break, you know. And I've been trying to figure out, you know, some ideas of what I could do for a a uh, great, you know, for oh, I don't know what you call it. Trying to figure out an idea for a good video, but I haven't really, haven't really thought of anything. I've been just too preoccupied on, on other things. I've been busy working. I've been, uh, let's see, not only busy working, but I've been uh, focusing a lot of the movies that I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of films lately over the last course of the last month or so. I've got a lot of new ones, and I was going to show you guys uh, in part of this little update here and a little bit uh, some of the Blu-rays that I got. Yes, I finally have gotten blue, and yes, I finally got myself a Blu-ray player, and uh, it's a nice, it's actually, a, I'll show you here, it's a Magnavox Blu-ray player, and believe it or not, it only cost me $78 for this, because Walmart had like a big uh, end of the year sale, and this, uh, I was kind of lucky to get it, because it was, uh, it was, uh, on sale, but actually the sale, the sale itself, the sale itself was uh, actually done the day that I purchased it, because I went and checked out the price, you know, like scanner, the Walmart scanner, whatever that they have, and it actually said $128, and so I asked the clerk or whatever, because someone that I knew, I said, you know, it says $78, but I, I scanned it and it said it's 128 do you think you could give it for me or give it to me at the cost of seventy eight dollars or whatnot? And then I'll I'll be happy to pick it up because I mean seventy eight dollars for a Blu ray player. I mean especially since Blu rays is kind of the new thing or the the thing now anyway uh, is really cheap compared to paying three hundred dollars for a Blu ray player. I can't imagine playing that. A lot of people when they buy Blu ray players they don't realize what they're buying. You know what they get with it. Now I just want just a standard DVD player slash Blu ray player. That's all I need. I don't need all the fancy gadgets, you know, of internet, you know, computers for internet, okay, or Netflix streaming or whatever. That's all stuff you can do on the internet, or you can, you know, you can do on the TV or whatever. You know, you don't need all those special features. The the BD Live would be kind of nice or whatnot to experience that, because I do have an internet connection and everything, obviously, because I'm on YouTube and I'm able to post videos, so yes, I do have an internet connection. Uh, anyway, so... A lot of people, you know, they buy, they spend uh, 300 some dollars on a you know, Sony Blu-ray player, you know, because of all the features. And, you know, that's great, but I just wanted something that was simple and just played Blu-rays and whatnot. And did everything a Blu-ray player does, still has the same features. Uh, I have played it on my parents' TV a few times. Uh, it looks great. I On my TV that I have, that I play it on right now, it's not a high-def TV, it's a standard TV. But... It's a digital television, and it does look pretty good. I mean, it looks better on the high-def TV, obviously, but it looks, it looks okay. What Watchable, anyway, on the uh, the regular TV for now. I will be planning on getting myself a, a, a widescreen, widescreen TV eventually, probably in a couple months or so. That leads me to my next subject here before I show my Blu-rays, that uh, I am postponing. I, I remember I was talking about, you know, possibly going to see Sean and MJ, uh, in Baltimore or whatever, you know, this spring or whatever. Well, I'm postponing that because of the fact that I don't have enough funds right now. I just went full-time here about a month ago, or almost about a month and a half ago, so I haven't had a chance to really save a whole lot because I want to save up for a TV first. And, however, I am planning on uh, going to see my very first ever WWE pay-per-view event, let alone my very first pay or live event. I've been a wrestling fan for about 20 years. I've never gone to any live events. I've talked to wrestlers. I've met wrestlers. I've interviewed some, you know, but yet I've never went to an event. <clears throat> I've got plenty of merchandise, plenty of DVDs, whatever, videos, and old tapes. I got all that, but yet I don't have, never been to an event yet. Uh, so anyway, <coughs> anyway, so my plan is to go to uh, the Bragging Rights pay-per-view in October, which is Sunday, October 24th, which will be at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, because I'm in Minnesota, so it just works out perfectly. 
and I'm going to be doing that. When the tickets come out this summer, I'm definitely going to make keep an eye keep an eye out for when WWE announces it, and then uh, making sure I have enough money to do that. I'm going to save for the TV first, and then save to go to the cities. It's not as far as destination as Baltimore would be, but uh, I just figure, you know, it's just better this way. I was also going to think about going back to Astoria, Oregon, but I thought about it. It's like, well. I've been to Astoria, Oregon. It's a great place. I would love to live there. If anybody's, if you've ever gone there uh, to go see the Goonie House, or if you haven't and you really want to, I say go for it because, you know, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it because you can. It's easy. Anybody can do it. I mean, I did it, and I'm kind of technically what they call low income, you know, a low income person, you know, but yet I was able to afford at least $1,000 to go on a nice cheap trip, but a trip that I'll never forget, that made hundreds of memories for me, a lifelong of memories, I mean, I've gone on other vacations before, but the first time I ever got by myself, you know, and I'm not saying I don't want to see Sean and MJ, don't want to meet them, it's just that they're pretty busy right now, they're getting even po more popular by the minute, and uh, the, the one reason why I'm postponing it is because I don't want to be kind of a burden as far as okay here I am going to you know save up all this money to go see them but what if they're not available the weekend that I want to go what if I paid for the ticket and I've done all the stuff I need to do got the time off and everything but then they say that they won't be around because they gotta go shoot a, a movie or something you know see what I'm saying you know so yeah I mean it would be nice it would be excellent you know I think if, if the chance ever happened for us to meet I think we'd be able to create some great stuff for all you YouTubers. But, but, it's just not going to happen right now. So I'm sorry for the ones who, you know, remember what, in my major announcement 4 video or, or whatever it was. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that won't be happening right now. It'll be postponed. I'm going to go to the cities instead. That's in October. I got plans. I got goals a little along the way. It's just better this way. Yeah. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you guys, I showed you guys my Blu-ray player, I'm going to show you, I got, believe it or not, since, since the last video that I made, well, I have done a, a DVD update or any type of update for a long time, the only reason why is because all, so many people do updates nowadays, it's like, what can you, what, it, it's kind of like I'm saying, what can I say that's different that nobody else has said about the movie or the film or whatever, so I've got a lot in the last since the last update I ever did, I probably got maybe two to three hundred new st new films or whatever on DVD, on DVD and Blu-ray, and uh, yeah, on Blu-ray I just started getting into Blu-ray. I got the player on New Year's Eve, so this is like a new thing for me too. But uh, I I don't spend a whole lot. One thing about me that you understand, if you've seen my updates before, if I talk about price, you know, unless it's something I really 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 want, you know, I'll pay whatever they're asking, if it's something, you know, that's hard to find or whatever, but for most of the time, I won't pay that much, and I think a lot of people are like that too, where they don't want to pay too much for something that, if they're only going to watch once, you'll own it forever, but as far as watching it, how often will you watch it? Most of the movies I have, I um, only will only watch once, you know, some are great, maybe I'll watch them again, but most of, most of them I have, I just watch once, and then I just store, you know, 